So I'll remove these old window first. So launch an instance. Okay, listen, please. Launch an instance. Uh, I'll call it as new Ubuntu or new load balancer. New load balancer. So come down. So I'll select a key pair name key one. I will enable all port number. Okay. Support all port number, all traffic, and launch instance. So now I successfully created one virtual machine, right? So this is Amazon or Ubuntu. Okay, we have to install it. <coughs> I'm not going to create it. Amazon launch. I'm just camera different. So select Ubuntu virtual machine. Select your key pair. Select all traffic. Launch instance. And this is going to spin up one Ubuntu virtual machine. Wait. So this is my Ubuntu virtual machine. So close. Delete. Okay, so once it's active and running, I'll try to install Nginx. Okay, so Ubuntu knew that is active. So I'll connect my virtual machine. Connect. Then I will connect my virtual machine. Okay, how to install Nginx? M. ABD. But before we need to update our system, right? What is the command? APT get update minus y update minus y, and this is going to update our system. Let's wait. <coughs> okay, done. Next, APT or APT get. Install in Cinex minus one. You can see that welcome to Cinex, right? So perfectly it's working. I'll check. Uh, I'll double check the uh, IP address sixty five one one ninety seven. Uh, 65197 right the same server so now i will uh, now i will uh, change the configuration file then i will uh, deploy one load balancer over there so i'll go to my configuration file to go to go configuration file open NAN. so first you have to remove one file rm minus r what is the file name slash etc nginx everyone please oh, eh? sites enable then sites enable Default. I'll remove this file then. Nano slash etc. Ah, Nginx. I think I'll answer the phone for a little. Nginx. Ah, eh? Or come on. Okay, Nginx then. Con D. What's the file name? So we can create any file, right? So I will create a file ashik.con. Okay, then enter. So now we have to. Uh, like a copy and paste the command over here, a script. Okay, so this is a script. So I will share in WhatsApp itself. Copy this, then I'll paste over here. Okay, so first step see, first you have to change your server IP address. So, what is your Nginx server IP address? Okay, I will, I will put my Nginx server IP address over here. So, for that, I'll go to my console. So, get this IP address. Then paste over here. Done. Right? So now I will add uh, my two, ser two servers IP address over here. Okay? For that I will create two virtual machines. Then I will create uh, two pages over there. So launch instance. VM1. So I will create two virtual machines at a time. And we have one feature for AWS uh, virtual machine that is user data. So while you are creating a virtual machine. Suppose if we want to install any package, for example, Apache server or any other package, you can write down the command over here. 
so i will just write it down so this is called bin bash okay we will explain that later bin bash then sudo m install httpd minus y then sudo systemctl start httpd okay then uh, dot service system ctl okay so then echo h1 hello from so dollar a uh, host name so then i will close this h1 slash var slash www html index dot html fine okay so now i will save this file everything is okay okay launch instance okay now everything is okay control o launch so key pair name we have to select key one launch instance and this is going to create two virtual machines okay at a time launch instance okay vm1 and vm2 so this is vm1 and vm2 so i'll get vm1 public ip address get the public ip address and search over it so once it up and running we will be get one test page over there okay so let's wait couple of second okay it's active and running i think so yeah active and running vm1 so get vm2 public ip address and paste over here so we should wait because it has to execute the command right so first it has to download the apache server then only it will execute Okay, I didn't enable port number eighty. That's what we not getting. I'll enable port number all traffic, all traffic. Then enable server. Then let's check. So now you can see that hello from IP one seventy two thirty one forty seven, right? So if I'm refreshing over here one seventy two thirty one seven one forty eight. This is zero forty seven seven one forty eight, right? So I'll do one thing. I'll go to my virtual machine. So first, I will get my virtual machine one public IP address. Listen, now it's important. So I'll get, I'll go to my virtual machine. I uh, get virtual machine one public or private IP address. Okay, I'll get the public or private. So we can use private as well, no problem. If it is the same local network, we can use private. So if it is a different local network, we can use public. So go to your virtual machine. Then remove this IP address. Then paste. Uh, then remove this IP address. then get this vm2 ip address and paste so now you can see a 3.110 204 and 153 so both are different right control o enter control x then system ctl restart nginx okay then so i'll go to my nginx so this is my nginx server i'll refresh and you can see that i'm getting 148 i'll refresh 47 see I'm refreshing the same page, but I'm getting different different server. So that's it. Very simple. Any doubt? So I'm getting different different page. Suppose if we have a hundred server, so the traffic will be routed to hundred server. Evenly, that will be distributed traffic. Okay, ten percent there, ten percent or ten percent like that. Any doubt?